Okay, in this uh, video, we're going to discuss tax functionality within the uh, BlueSeer ERP application. Uh, this video is specific to version 6.0 and patch 7 or higher. So you're going to need to be on version 607, patch 7 or higher uh, to reproduce the functionality that you're going to see here. Okay, let's talk about uh, the, the tax records, tax codes that we're going to be creating. Uh, and how those tax codes are impacted at the uh, customer level, the order level, and, and even tax codes that are applicable at the item level. So we're going to start with the item level tax codes are tax codes that are applicable to the item level only. And there is only one. Material tax is applicable at the item level tax. So let's create a material type of tax. So address, tax maintenance, Click New. This value is arbitrary. Uh, we're just going to put uh, tax MATL um, and then a description uh, material tax generic. Okay, the tax element, this uh, field here will be uh, visible on some of the invoice print programs. So you want to be specific as to what you put here. So we're going to put uh, MATL tax X. And then uh, we're going to say just a uh, overall tax percentage of say 5%. We're going to choose material and then we're going to click add element. And we have one element within our tax code uh, of 5%. And so, and so now we're going to go to the item master and apply this material tax code here to uh, an item in the item master. So go to inventory. Oh, before I do that, let me make sure I click Add to commit the tax records. So click Add, and now we, we should have a tax record here. And we do. Okay, so now let's go to Inventory, Item Menu, Item Maintenance. Let's choose our item, press Enter. And this item here is uh, what we're going to apply the uh, material tax code to. And you do that by choosing the drop down list of the tax code, and there should be available tax codes in this drop down. And we have tax material. This is the one we just created. Uh, click update, and that'll commit that association of that tax code to that item. So now let's add, let's uh, just simulate an order uh, and invoicing of that order to show the uh, tax applied to the uh, order. Order maintenance, click new, choose a customer, uh, test. And we're going to ship that item, quantity of one, at a selling price of $10. Click insert. Now, it'll automatically go, if it's, it'll automatically apply whatever material tax codes are associated with the item. Uh, and you'll see 50 cents here, and a total of 50 cents here. 5% um, of $10 is 50 cents. So this uh, is accurate here. And so you'll see that the tax code has been applied uh, for the material. So now we'll go back to main, we'll click add. And then we'll go ahead and invoice that order. And we'll look at the invoice print to show the display values. So you'll see the only tax that will show up ever at the material level, the item level, will be the material tax code. And you'll see at the summary as well, 50 cents, material tax. And that's the uh, material level. So again, the only tax that will be uh, visible at the item level will be a material type tax, or, or a material type tax code. So, let's create one of the other uh, tax types, which is header tax. So we'll come back to address, tax maintenance, click new, and just create a header. Header tax code. And uh, getting header uh, is essentially any tax that's not material based will be at the order level. Header and order are synonymous here. So all taxes for this code here will be at the order level. So let's create some elements for our tax code header. And we're going to create two. So this is going to be a composite type tax code where we have two elements within that header tax code. We're going to create one for federal. We'll just call it fed tax percent of 12 enabled. And choose federal here from the type and add element. Now, uh, one thing to note, this type field defines the general ledger account that the tax will be uh, impacted on. The general ledger account that this tax transaction will be impacted upon is defined by this type. And I'll show you where that association is at in just a few minutes. So there's one. We're going to add one more element. Uh, 
estate tax, call it 4%. Choose the uh, state type, which will, will uh, impact the, uh, the general ledger account that is associated with state. Click Add Element. And we have a, a composite tax code here of two elements, one at 12% and one at 4%. So the cumulative tax will be 16% against the order. So let's click, click Add, and we now have a header tax. Now, uh, the header tax can be applied at the customer level or at the order level. You can override it at the order level. So let's actually associate our customer code with this header tax code, and it will automatically get applied to the order when you create an order for that customer. So go to Customer, Customer Maintenance, click New. I'm sorry. Click Clear. Let's choose the customer that we have already. Click Cash. And this is our default uh, customer code that comes with the, uh, the download of BlueSeer. It's just a generic code. Um, and we're going to choose the uh, header tax we just created. And now that header tax will be applicable whenever we, choose an, we create an order for uh, customer code cash. So let's uh, demonstrate that. Order, order maintenance, click new, choose our cash customer, and you'll see that the tax code has become the header tax code. Okay, let's uh, actually just create an order and invoice that order. So we'll create it for this line item here, quantity of one. The material tax still applies here, so that uh, code is still in force, and you'll see that here. However, you also have uh, summary taxes or header taxes that are associated with this order of 12% and 4% against the total order amount. And that total tax that includes this tax contribution as well as the material tax is $2.10 to bring the total up from $10 to 12.10. So I go back to main, click add, and we'll invoice it, and we'll look at the invoice. And you'll see again that our uh, material tax is still uh, displayed at the, uh, at the item level and applicable. Go down here, and our Fed tax our state tax, which is our two composite taxes in our header record code, tax code, are visible as well as our material uh, tax. So the, uh, the taxes we applied at the header level and the material level are uh, demonstrated here in this invoice print. Okay, uh, one last thing. We'll also look at the, how this tax transaction, uh, let's go back here again, how this tax transaction, the values of this tax transaction, dollar twenty dollar dot forty and dot fifty are uh, distributed in the general ledger accounts for this transaction we just uh, did in the sales order so let's go to uh, unposted uh, general ledger transactions you can actually type in UNGL to see these uh, transactions financial transactions or you can go over to finance ledger reports because we unposted transactions so we have not posted the uh, ledger transactions yet so this is the cumulative sum of all the transactions we've actually done. Uh, you'll see here these first four are, are associated with the selling of the item with just the material tax, which you see here. And then these here are associated with uh, the second invoice that we did that includes not only the material tax, but the state and federal. And you'll see the accounts that uh, the uh, state tax, federal tax, and material tax uh, have been uh, impacted by this, uh, by these transactions, and then you'll also see the dollar amounts associated with that, which uh, uh, corresponds with what we saw in the uh, invoice print program. So that uh, concludes this uh, demonstration of tax functionality in Blue Seer. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to our website at blueseer.com, uh, and that contact information is also available here in the help about and our website and project site are uh, shown here. Thank you.